What is your go-to McDonald's order? Hello and welcome to the Hypertrophy Odyssey chapter 144. It is the fourth day of the week, AKA the shotgun dropkick workout. I am on my way to the gym right now and I am feeling pretty good, feeling pretty great actually. Legs are kind of dead, but nothing too crazy. I think a little bit of a warm up won't start and resuscitate them back into life. Going a little bit earlier than I normally do, so that's nice, that's actually a good thing. So I actually have a chance to chill out later, so that's nice. To the main subject matter at hand, I wanted to change it up a little bit in that, I've been thinking about this one since I had a conversation with my coworker the other day about top five fast food joints, just generally, or I think it was top three, but top five fast food joints. I just want to talk about that because that's such a interesting subject to me because I don't eat that much out anymore, but there are a few spots that I do eat out at out a lot. And then I have to also say this will be the first time I'll do this because this one I could see conversation about afterwards as well. But my bottom five, I guess, disliked fast food joints is a rare thing. I don't like necessarily shitting on things. I'm okay with it, but I don't like it per se. If I'm giving flowers to the things that I love, I'm giving, I don't know, like uh, poop stains or uh, soiled sheets, you know, soiled LEDs to the, what I think is the worst fast food. But you know, if you like it, fine. It's up to you. To each their own when it comes to taste. But personally, I do not like the things that I'm going to be talking about. And for some reasons, I'll probably say there's going to be some that I can already tell you are diarrhea city. You know what I mean? It's like every time I eat it, good luck. Like I had a bad experience, not doing it again. It's not always the same, but if I'm eating it and every time afterwards it's Montezuma's revenge in the bathroom, I can't put it in anywhere it, for it being good. I don't want to do this for all the top five, do like a bottom five or whatever, maybe for certain subjects, but I feel like this one is such a broad scoped thing and I can give praise to things that I like, but I also have to give some, uh, some negative feedback on a couple of places. Some places deserve the negative feedback. Some places are great and excellent and stuff. Obviously there are certain things that are probably going to be regional maybe something that is some things that are maybe just in this area some things that aren't even considered technically fast food I I, I don't know though I don't I'm not gonna say yes or no to that but I don't know if I'll have any rules to it I'll figure that out in the voiceover but I just wanted to talk about this because I was thinking about this the other day and I was like huh I got like a top three but if I had to expand it to a five I'd have to really think about it and this gives me an opportunity to really think about it but I can give you a bottom five immediately it's not that hard to say a by bottom five now, this is all personal. Uh, if you are, if one of the, your favorite things are in the top five or the bottom five, please feel free in the comments below to tell me what you think about it because I'm very curious. But also because why not? You know, it's just one of those things. It's like we can just talk about food. It's one of those things that I don't eat out much anymore. Not because I don't want to. I just literally don't have the time to go out. Like I only go out on the weekends nowadays. And even then I'll do like one meal, one or two meals out. And that's really it. So it's just literally a time-consuming thing now I know fast food is supposed to be fast but fast food is no longer fast and it's also no longer cheap too but that conversation might be saved for the voiceover so that is what it is but with that being said I will see you on the inside all right so started this day off with RDLs which were pretty nice they felt pretty good but anyways to get to the main subject matter here this actually took a little bit longer than I thought it would because personally I had to really think about everything that would be the top five or the bottom five so I'm gonna start I'm gonna go in order from five up to one and my top one would be my favorite and bottom one would be my least favorite I'm going to go from five down to start off the top five I gotta give my props to number five McDonald's. I don't like it necessarily as much as I used to, but because I used to love it when I was younger and it was a big part of my life back in the day, I have to give it its flowers. I don't eat it as much or at all anymore, really, but it is something that I have to give it its flowers. I have to be kind to it. I, I just don't like it as much anymore. I have to give the respect that it garnered, all right? The bottom number five would be Burger King. Now, Burger King is good. I actually do like Burger King. The only thing is it's so 
inconvenient because there's not one near me and it's not something I will go out of my way to get. And I haven't had it in years now and I'm like, I don't look to get it ever again, really. Then I heard they changed their fries and the fries were like the best part from BK. So it's like, whatever. Coming in at number four for the top, it would be Quadoba. I actually really do enjoy Quadoba. The only issue with Quadoba is that sometimes you kind of have to get a little bit extra in order to get some flavor out of it. Kind of plain if you don't get too much stuff, which is kind of annoying. But besides that, relatively speaking, Quadoba is pretty good. It's pretty nice. It sits in my stomach well. I feel very full. It's number four on the bottom here, which I do not like. Any variety of Chinese food from the mall that isn't one particular one, but we'll get to that later. Any type of like scoop up Chinese food. I can't do it anymore. I feel terrible after eating it. Like genuinely, I just feel bad. I used to have the feeling, but now it's just worse where I'm just like not only really lethargic, but I just genuinely feel kind of sick. So I can't do it anymore. I can't do that feeling. Number three on the top list here would be the one exception, which is Saraku Japan, which I don't know why, where they cook it in front of you. For some reason that still hits and it's not that crazy on macros or anything like that. Do I have it all the time? Not really, but I still will have it every once in a while. Number three at the bottom here, Subway. Now, I haven't had Subway in years. Genuinely, it's been a while, but I just don't like it. I don't know. Something about it just, just doesn't... I've never been in the mood for it, nor do I want to eat that ever again, honestly. It wasn't like it's like the worst thing in the world, but I definitely would not do it anymore. Something about it is not appealing at all. I don't know what it is. It's just unappealing, and I don't know how else to explain it. Number two on both sides is funny because... They, they contrast one another. On my top, number two would be Dunkin' Donuts. I love Dunkin' Donuts. I love breakfast food. I love coffee. So that combination works out very well. There was a good while where I would get Dunkin' Donuts every day for like, I would say like a good, a better part of a year. I would get that for like almost every single day. It was amazing. I really did enjoy it when I was getting it. Not as much anymore for a lot of different reasons, but my bottom number two would be honestly Starbucks. I do not like Starbucks. I find their products mediocre at best. That is one. Two, the clientele that go there are usually very annoying and also having to deal with the people that are there, very annoying. The workers are fine, but the other people that, that are there are usually annoying as fuck most of the time. And also three, overpriced. I mean, really, just, you don't even have to, just overpriced for the amount of food that you get. That's, that's not even anything new. And the top dogs, which, funny how there's another contrast here. My top number one, Taco Bell. Now that's insane for some people, but Taco Bell, really do enjoy it. Always love getting it, no matter what. Also, doesn't upset my stomach, which is insane because some people always, that's literally a meme about Taco Bell being, you know, so bad for your stomach. And it never was for me. I don't have to deal with that at all, thankfully. But my bottom one is Chipotle, which is funny because I do like Quidova and I do like Taco Bell, which is like almost Chipotle. My issue with Chipotle is that I cannot eat it. It is one too fucking salt. I fucking hate that. That is like, the, that's one major issue. And I think most people who have had Chipotle can agree that it's fucking salty. But two, I can give you the exact date. October 16th, 2022 was the last time I had Chipotle. And the reason why I remember that date is because that's the day when I met a few friends from online and then we actually met in person. So that was cool. But that almost didn't happen because I was stuck in the bathroom before that. And it was a nightmare to try to rumble my stomach from that. It was so traumatizing that I remember it vividly and also have a weird association with it. So after that, I have not touched that food ever, ever again. Everybody's experience with that is a little different. Also for the upcoming segment, sorry for the audio quality. It kind of goes to shit. Number four, and we're back. Welcome to the workout debriefing. Exercises not filmed, none. Exercises skipped, also none. Got everything in today, which is very nice, very surprising. A lot of sets today, but I'm going to cut back on sets a little bit on lower body days. So now I'm gonna go down to uh, uh, up to three sets and then I'm gonna go back down to one. So next week will be slightly deload style in a way, just because it has worked. My legs haven't been too fucked when I'm going to work. So there is that. But anyways, back to the main subject matter at hand. Top five slash bottom five, fast food joints. Now, 
this is just a random thing that I thought of. It wasn't necessarily the only thing I was thinking about talking about today. It will probably be something a little bit topical. I, mean, I wouldn't say topical, but a little bit more specific topic that I would like to talk about probably tomorrow. But today I just wanted to do something a little bit fun. So why not? And also it was fresh on the mind weirdly. Like I actually thought about this for a while there. Like I actually sat there and was like, all right, what would it be? You know what I mean? What would my top five be or top three even? And then what would my top bottom three would be, you know, or bottom five? I got to figure out what are the what are the yays and the nays, you know, just figuring it out was kind of an interesting thing to think about. But with that being said, tell me what you think in the comments below. I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions about this. This is a very random subject matter, but still something interesting nonetheless. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions. Tell me your top five or your bottom five or the first question I asked you, which is what is your McDonald's order? Because most people have a go-to order at McDonald's all the time. It's one of those things that even if you don't go often enough, you still have gone enough times to know exactly what your order is, if that makes any sense. Or if you haven't gone, tell me about that. I would love to know your thoughts and opinions about that but with that being said thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe i will be back on tomorrow with a new video hopefully please share this video with anybody who may or may not like it i appreciate you watching this i will see you in the next one keep it heavy take care peace